Bismillah. Right, this is the continuation of our previous lecture. Convert an index image to an RGB image and a grayscale image. An index image can be converted to RGB using index to RGB. And likewise, an index image can be converted to gray level using index to gray. Let us see how the conversion is, how the conversion takes place, and how you can easily identify whether it is a uh, index image or it is a RGB image or it is a gray level image. Right. I have started a MATLAB. My memory locations are clear. I will take an image. I am is equal to I am read. And the image is a tree start tiff right whenever you read an image now if I read this one then I get only the this one the image the matrix alone I get it but you know that the in this one the index image means this is only the index and what are the values of this index that it is not there whenever we read an index image we have to read along with its map therefore the correct syntax for reading this one is this one I am comma map these two we read in a vector so we read in a vector the actual matrix values which are the indices and what are its values of the color in the map now see that we are getting the image and the map what is an image and what is the map see this when this one is the matrix this matrix use only the index so when we say 108 therefore it will go to the 108 the position in the map and it will use these values for the red green blue when I use 116 as the index, it, it goes to 116, uh, 116 and it uses this as red, green and blue. Therefore, this map consists of a table of red, green, blue values and what index is to be used, that index is represented in the matrix. So, an index image has a matrix values which are indices and then for each index, what is the color to be used is in the map table right therefore whenever I show the image also I am show I should not use only the image this will give me only the black and white color effect this is not the actual image whenever you show the index image I have to show along with the map okay now I will use I am I am pixel info to know this to know the value I am pixel info and now you can see that this is basically an index image because each pixel at x comma y contains an index which is a matrix element and the matrix element points to a table and that table contains the RGB values for example if I my cursor is here it is using the index tool you can see here it is using the index uh, say for example 9 the 9 uh, index uses 0.22 red, 0.19 red, green and 0.22 blue. Alright, so the first one contains the matrix and the second contains the map. Alright, enough talking about the index map. Now let us come here. Now how do we convert it? <coughs> we convert this way. For example, I, I take I am, I want uh, I green, uh, this one oh, uh, RGB therefore I call RGB is equal to therefore from index to RGB index to RGB right which one image is the I am and what map is to be used I have taken the variable map map itself right now the image is converted from index to RGB all right now this is there the next one let us convert i am gray i will take as a variable i will use index to gray all right which image is to be used i am and what mapping is to be used map all right so i have three var variables now let us take figure first i will show the i am show i am show which figure i am figure and i will give you a title that this is an index image 
index image all right then let us take another another figure so this one is sorry this one let us take another figure and this time we shall show which one i am rgb and let us give the title is uh, this one is the rgb image image all right now let us take one more image let us take one more image and let us show this one i am gray and uh, now this time it is not a rgb image it is a gray image all right right now let me come all let us see all the figures see that this is a index image not this one not this one let us say uh, okay, let us this one is the rgb image i wait a minute i think i have done wrongly but let us let us come one by one let us say that this is a image why does it show this one i am what is my i am oh my god this is i am index image should be shown along with the map so the image is to be shown along with the map all right then let us show the which image let us show the rgb image and this is the rgb and here i will use this one i am pixel info that is one of the another figure and let us use another figure we shall show which one the gray image we shall show gray image and this time this one is the gray image now my all three figures should be there all right. right this is what we did wrongly now right now let us this one see that this one is index therefore each is a matrix element and then if then each one is a matrix element and the corresponding rgb values and that index is shown here all right this is the index image now the second image is a rgb image see that the index is equal to rgb now it consists of only the red green blue values so this is the rgb image and this one is the gray image which has only the intensity only from 0 to 255 0 stands for black and white stands for 255 now my cursor is at white you can see in this status that the value is around 234 if i take to a black value for example here it will be very less the dark see the value is equal to 50 so this is a gray image therefore this way you have seen that how an image can be converted to a rgb or how it can be converted to a gray image here itself in matlab you can find out <coughs> see that this one is a gray image therefore this is only a 258 by 350 this many rows and columns it has the values are only from 0 to 255 and uh, this one im and map these together makes the index image this contains only the indices and uh, this contains the values of each indices and uh, this one is rgb rgb you know that this is a matrix which has the first layer for the red second layer for the green and the third layer for the blue all right right this completes that question clear and clear all the memory locations right let us take the next question extract the red green blue components of an rgb image right i have taken a lily image and see this is how we will take if this is the image what is the red component green component and blue component the concept is very simple let us do this way now instead of writing uh, line by line let us start a new m file and now let us take im is equal to i will take first one close all the figures clear all the memory locations clear the command window and take the variable im is equal to im read the file name is lily.tiff drag the information file all right then i take red is equal to zero red is equal to im and likewise the green also i make it as im and uh, blue also is equal to im all right Therefore, now all my all my images, that is, I am and red, all are equal. Now, here, if you refer the uh, 
this uh, wait a minute mm, yes so here red has uh, three matrices red is a uh, has matrix has three layers the first one is red the second and the third i have to make zero the second layer and third layer i have to make zero therefore i do like this one in the red for all the rows and all the columns i make the second layer to third layer i make it is equal to zero so that only the first layer values alone are retained the second layer and third layer which is for the green and the blue they are made it as zero all right then likewise for the green for all the rows and all the columns what i want i want that the first layer and the third layer they are to be made as zero all right so this one is equal to zero all right here one colon three means one and three now if i put one colon three means colon is a powerful operator therefore it will take all one two three but i want one then the step value is equal to two and three therefore make the first layer is equal to zero and one plus two and then make the third layer equal to zero all right the next one for the blue then i take blue for all the rows and all the columns i should make the second layer to third layer is equal to zero all right therefore now i show all the images in a vector the first one the actual image i show then red image we shall show then green then blue all right now let us run this it will ask for a file name i call this is equal to test and uh, save it already the file exists i replace that test dm is already open so i will close this one and again if i run this it is asking test and uh, save it yes and uh, now if i run this one then i should get a i'm getting an error that there is an error at line number 11 i did not put a close bracket right now let us run this see that sorry this is the actual image red is correct green is correct blue instead of blue i think i have done wrongly blue means sorry blue means the one and two should be made as zero the one and two should be made as zero because blue is the third color right now let us run this see that this is my actual image this much of red red therefore green and blue are made zero here this is green red and blue are made zero this is blue therefore the first two r and red and green are made equal to zero probably if it is not clear i will write a comment here say that this one the red red is equal to zero means that the second and third they are made it as zero the second mat the second layer and third layer are made as zero what is the second layer the second layer is uh, green and uh, rgb and third layer is blue and here which one which layers we are making zero the first one the red layer the first layer and the third layer they are made it as zero and here which one the first and the second the first and the second layers are made uh, zero zero therefore only the red component the first alone is retired here only the second alone is retired here only the third is retained the remaining all are made it as zero therefore we get uh, this one uh, the red components and green components and blue components hope this would have given a simple understanding of how the colors are extracted from a two color image okay now here also from this also you can extract you can find using the imf info also for example im is my file therefore i can use imf info im file info my file name is uh, lily uh, lily dot and here it will give me the details that uh, this has uh, 24 bit 24 bit means 8 bit for the red 8 bit for the green 8 bit for the blue therefore this is a tagged information file which has uh, 280 230 columns and 186 uh, rows and it has uh, three layers of eight bits for red green blue all right remaining we shall see in the next lecture and please do comment on the video your comments alone will help me to uh, increase